In this video, we will talk about exception retry mechanism. Here, in this, we will take two examples. First, here we have a login. So, after launching the Centrix application, if we are going to log in into that application, so due to less wait time, if it is not loading that specific login page, so it will not able to put the details and it will not able to log into that. So, in that scenario, what I am going to show you, I am going to retry this part. If you will see here in the object studio, in the login part, in, in the wait stage, here we have 0 0.2 second. If you will put here 10 second, first time it will might be load and then it will able to log in. But sometime due to the heavy usage or due to some server issue, if we have put here 10 second but but then also it is not working it is not that application is not loaded so that will throw an error so what we can do in this scenario there are some scenario you need to think about that like where you should apply this retry re mechanism so first i'm going to process studio and let me sir give some space here okay so after launching this application i'm going to take one block stage here and in the block stage i am going to take one recover this is for if error occurs on this page on this stage so it will be cached by recover stage and after that we will resume this let me delete this line take anchor stage connect with this and connect with this and then link this stage with the anchor and then link this stage so by this way what will happen you know here it will first time launch this application it will come to this it will try to log in but if this launch is not completely done then it will throw an error it will resume and then come again so by this way it will retry multiple time let me run this here if i will run this and you see here currently this application is launching but still it's not loaded it is going to the recover resume and then it's completing this part and go to end because this part is done now and then it will go with the next one but as i told you that if this application is closed or might be this is not loaded due to file is missing then what will happen it will continuously run in the loop now what we can do here check one condition here and that is for checking if it is really system exception check here and click on this function exceptions take here exception type if exception type equals to click on this plus in the exception type take here this says system exception so it will check here if exception type equal to system exception then it will go to the resume and then then it will retry so if yes it will go and resume and then come with this line again now in the no part we can take one exception stage just for throwing an exception so we can throw an exception here throw login exception and select here system exception and write here that after retry unable to login into centrix data solutions right now click ok and link this with this exception so yes and no now it will check here if this is system exception it will go to the top if it is not it will throw an error i don't want to retry more than three times i want to set a retry limit here 
so retry limit we can say it as a three times or five times if our application did not load in three retry or five retry we don't want to open this we don't want to do this just throw an error and log that that error so for that what we need to do here now delete this line and take here two data items one data item for retry count because we need to increase that retry count so first time we can set as a zero second data item we can take as a retry limit so our retry limit will be again number but initial value will be 3 now click ok and now double click on this system exception and right here and here we are going to check two condition if this is system exception then only we need to retry if this is not system exception do not retry because business exception does not need to retry so we'll take here retry count if retry count is less than retry limit it means if you are putting 0 0 less than 3 so yes it will go to the next so we'll put here system exception and retry and here what we can write after multiple retry unable to log into centrist data solutions and now in the yes part we can take one calculation so that we can apply here counter plus one so we'll write here retry count plus plus or like plus one and here we'll take retry count plus one and we'll store the same thing in the retry count so what will happen it will check if this is system exception and retry less than retry limit so yes it will go here and it will increase plus one so our count is zero so zero plus one one and then it will come again there is an error it will again come to this recover part retry plus so it will two then three like that so if retry count is three and retry limit also three so three less than three no then it will throw an error here right so we can also set multiple retry reached multiple retry or retry limit reached like that we can write retry limit reached or exceeded something like that and now link this decision stage and then here now first time you see currently here we, we have zero now once it will go from here it will increase plus one uh, click on set and run this now and you see here it is going to recover retry count plus one now you can see a retry count is one now it will try to log in this so by this way it, it will be able to log into this one right now by this way you can retry these things now i'm going to show you another example and that will help you to understand this easily now let me go to the get excel as a collection and let me copy these things here this uh, same value this 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 and this two variable and go to get excel paste here now what i am going to show you here while opening this workbook if that is file that file is not available so i want to just retry three times only if still that is not available then or still is not able to open that workbook i am going to retry three times and then throw an error so let me just do like this
and take here and take this block stage here and then take this recover inside this and then we can connect here delete this part and then take this anchor stage here take this resume here take this retry count here and now in this I am going to find this if this file is available then it will open this file if this is not available then it will go and retry so let me put here some different file name so that we can see this example let me uh, link this create instance with here and here we are going to work on files right so we'll be getting file not available exception we are not going to get system exception so let me delete this one and go to exception click on types and take here file not found right and then take here retry less than limit click ok uh, change the name file not found exception and retry now in the throw exception what we can write here retry limit reach unable to open requested file something now you will see here I am going to run this let me close this and go to start set next and then click on run so create instance it is going to open workbook and then it will throw an error it will go to recover and error part I will show you here next time you can see here error is file not found exception and then file this file is not exist or is not a file right so you can see retry count is 1 it is going to recover again it will go to the decision let me run this and you will see here it will retry up to 3 times plus 1 now count is 2 so it will again check 2 less than 3 yes now count is 3 so now this time again it will come 3 less than 3 no so it will throw an error and you can see error is retry limit reached unable to open requested file now here we are running from the specific page that's why we are getting one error here that exception here now if we will run the same thing from this main page so we will be getting that exception type here it will not throw an error here you can see let me run from here refresh and reset now run this so it will go launch and login it will complete this part first so in the first retry it will type the staff number and password and then it will go to go to orders menu and then it will go to new orders okay now you can see we are on the get xlj collection and then this time we'll be getting one error and it will retry up to three times here let me increase the speed and you will see here now and now we are getting this this is completed and error is here retry limit reached unable to open requested file so by this way we can apply retry mechanism in blue prism here